President Rodrigo Duterte has committed to certify as urgent the proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law. House Deputy Speaker Bay Sandra Sema and Tawi-Tawi Representative Ruby Sahali announced this in separate Facebook posts late Monday night. The announcement comes after Congress leaders met with the President in Malacanang to resolve contentious provisions under the BBL. House Majority Leader Rodolfo Farina says the more controversial provisions of the BBL, including the opt-in clause in the fiscal autonomy for the Bangsamoro region, will be reconciled by the House and the Senate in bicameral conference committee meetings to be held during the session break. Congress adjourns session this week and will resume on July 23, Duterte's third State of the Nation address. Farina says the bicameral conference committee report is scheduled to be ratified by both chambers in the morning of July 23. Duterte will then sign the BBL into law in time for his third sauna at 4 p.m. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. Top editors of the Philippine Daily Inquirer and its columnist Ramon Tulfo are detained by the police for booking procedures Monday over a libel complaint by the Iglesia Ni Cristo. Tulfo in a Facebook post says he was with Inquirer's executive editor Jose Mariano Lasco, opinion editor Rosario Garcelliano, and associate editor for Page One Operations Pergentino Bandairel Jr. INC filed a libel complaint after Tulfo took a jab at the powerful religious group in March 2017 for allegedly stockpiling firearms inside their confidential compound. Tulfo in March 7, 2017 says, quote, by the way, why does the INC, which preaches love, maintain a large armory and a private army? He says around 90 cases were filed by the religious group's members all over the country. By his count, most have been dismissed, but three complaints were forwarded to a court for trial, one in Tagum Davao del Norte and one each in Dasmarinas and Bacaor, Cavite. Tulfo says, quote, while our bail bonds were being processed, we were fingerprinted like all ordinary accused. Like ordinary crime suspects, our mugshots were also taken. He adds, quote, It was the first time the Inquirer editors were placed in such a tight, nay, humiliating situation. The Inquirer previously requested former Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre II to consolidate the three charges into one at the DOJ main office. Aguirre denied the newspaper's appeal. Foreign Secretary Alan Cayetano lectures career diplomats at their department's flag-raising ceremony Monday about diplomacy in the West Philippine Sea. Cayetano, a longtime politician who has worked at the DFA for only a year, teaches veteran diplomats using metaphors like neighborhood squabble and husband and wife. He begins by talking about the two elements of faith, hope and trust. Talking about this because much of diplomacy is about faith. It's about trust, hope and it's about he also reminds DFA personnel there is room for dissent under his leadership. At the same time, he says President Rodrigo Duterte's voters were not blind or deaf when they voted for him. But we have to ask ourselves as Filipinos, I know what's important to us. Sarili natin, ang importante sa atin, 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 ang foremost expert of sound privacy, ang importante sa atin, ang importante sa atin, or is it important for you to embrace the national interest and to accept when things are going well, if things are being done correctly, you say yes, but also when things are being done wrong, what will it Caetano also denies the Philippines is silent about China's behavior in the West Philippine Sea, even as the country refuses to publicize any diplomatic protest against Beijing. We still love when we are in the Philippines, that every single time we are away from China. Finally, so that we are not silent is a reason. First of all, we are not silent. Just because we are not shouting at each other and press on every day doesn't mean we are silent. But as Mm-hmm.